they called us and, and said, Hi, Professor Efrati, we have, we have a dog that was injured, we want to treat her in the channel. I told them at the beginning, I said, we are not treating dogs. And then they say, no, 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 this is a special dog. It happens in Gaza. I said, okay, now we are listening. <laughs> Mikey, the Alsatian, was just weeks away from completing her military service when she was hit by Hamas grenade and suffered catastrophic injuries in Gaza. The search and rescue dog in Israel's elite Oketz Special Forces unit suffered horrific wounds to her face, body and legs. Veterinary surgeons operated to remove an eye and treat shrapnel in her ears, pneumonia in her lungs and a broken leg, but the outlook was bleak. Damage sustained to her brain meant Mikey would never walk again and it was feared she may not even live. But now the nine-year-old Alsatian has made a miraculous recovery after becoming the first dog in the world to receive hyperbaric oxygen therapy. She was exposed to a significant blast. She had injury in her eyes, in her leg, as you can see. And in the brain, she also have remnant of, of the explosion in the brain. So when she came, she was non-responding. Actually, there was a threat to her life. That's how she came to the veterinary hospital, mm -hmm. okay? And they called us and, and said, Hi, Professor Efrati, we have, we have a dog that was injured, we want to treat her in the channel. I told them at the beginning, I said, we are not treating dogs. And then they say, no, 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 this is a special dog. It happens in Gaza. I said, okay, now we are listening. <laughs> Since she was a puppy, Mikey had served with the Oketz unit, an independent canine special forces unit in the Israeli Defense Forces. It comprises of dogs that specialize in attacking, tracking, or sniffing out enemy munitions. Mikey was an explosives detonator dog who was sent in to scan buildings for traps before Israeli forces enter. She was working with her handler to root out Hamas deep in Gaza when a terrorist threw a grenade which blew up in her face. Mikey was evacuated by helicopter and rushed to a veterinary hospital on November the 12th. But after two weeks of traditional treatment, the vets ran out of options and her commanders called up Professor Ifrati. He has pioneered the use of hyperbaric oxygen therapy to treat blast wounds in soldiers. It works by flooding the blood with oxygen, allowing it to bypass damaged blood vessels and induce stem cells to grow. We are using the cutting edge technology or the hyperbaric oxygen therapy protocol that we are using for soldiers with brain injuries. And this is the research that we are doing the last 20 years. And, and Mikey, she's, she's improving significantly. As you saw her now, mm -hmm. she can walk, mm -hmm. okay? She can understand what's going on around. She can react, okay? And this is, this is even better than what we have thought. Yes. And what's interesting in her case, I don't know if it will happen to additional dogs that we will treat, if we will treat, probably we will again, because the results are so amazing, <laughs> is that it's like, a fast forward with regard to the reaction to the treatment as what happened in, in really? humans. Wow. So for example, in each session that she gets, it's like five sessions in humans, the, the amazing progress that, that she made. Mikey has made significant progress after just a few weeks of treatment, and it's hoped that she will continue to improve with a further two months of oxygen therapy. For Professor Ifrati, her recovery is just as important as any other soldier that has served their country. The best of the best treatment that we are giving to any soldier that is injured during the battlefield. Okay, that's, that's the way we are in Israel. We want to give the best to our soldiers. And Mikey, she's, she's one of our soldiers. 